In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a local inventory feed to your Google Merchant Center account, and we'll accomplish this in just five minutes. To get started, let's first ensure you're logged into your Google Merchant Center Next account. Open your favorite web browser and head over to www.google.com slash retail. Once you're there, locate and click on sign in, then select sign into Merchant Center to gain access to your account. Next up is creating a local product inventory feed. This feed is essential as it includes inventory information for every one of your physical store locations, allowing potential customers to know exactly what products are available near them. When setting up your feed, you have two format options. You can either use a .txt file, which is tab delimited, or an .xml file. Choose the one that suits your technical comfort and the tools you have available. Each line in this feed must contain specific details, the store code ID, which should match the product ID in your primary feed, quantity and availability, specifying whether items are in stock or out of stock. Although it is optional, it is highly recommended to include the price in your feed as well. Having this information clearly listed ensures that your inventory data is accurate and that you're providing the best experience for your customers. Once you have your feed file ready, it's time to upload it. Within your Google Merchant Center, click on the settings and tools icon represented by a small gear A and navigate to data sources. Here you'll find multiple product source options, but for our purpose, click on supplemental sources. Now click add regional inventory, which will begin the process of integrating this specific feed into your account. At this point, you'll need to select your preferred method to share the file. If you have your file hosted online, simply enter the URL link directly. Alternatively, you can upload a file from your computer, either by dragging and dropping it into the interface or clicking to browse and select it manually. Lastly, for those comfortable with using SFTP, you can transfer your file to the Merchant Center using this secure method. Once your file is uploaded, review the information to ensure all details are correct. When you're confident everything is set, click continue to finalize and complete the setup. And that's all there is to it. You've successfully added a local inventory feed to your Google Merchant Center. This setup is a fantastic way to ensure your store's inventory is accurately represented online, enhancing visibility for local customers and possibly driving more in-store traffic. Thanks for tuning in and as always, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or for further guidance.